Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creek Zoo. Look, we have a baby sea lion. It's, it's running off. Let's pause this, but look. This is Olivia. She is so cute. It is also raining like a lot right now. But let's see if she goes into the water. It's so cute, look. <gasps> she is adorable. Oh. Let's hope she doesn't escape. <laughs> So, since last time the new uh, DLC went out, um, we had uh, tiny little pups with actually really good stats. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, but since the last um, expansion came out, I took the liberty of opening the game and buying some um, Braswalski horses. I got three, no way, I got four because um, they are probably gonna be very expensive so let's just see if I was right yeah you see how much they are like this is insane I mean this one well, is not the best that this one's pretty cheap but this is so expensive like so expensive and I see a money maker in this um, so we have bought some horses they are able to go up to eight at a time and I want to make um, I want to make an area here once it stops raining, that's why I'm still running this. I want to make an area here with the Prasalski horses. But also um, a little bit of a kindergarten. No, not kindergarten. Um, petting zoo. That was the word. Like a petting zoo uh, area here. So I felt like doing that and I feel like that's probably a very wise yet very time consuming idea. So we're gonna do that <laughs> and we're gonna start with our horses and I think I'm just gonna place them somewhere here and then we're gonna have this path. I do want a little uh, seating area for the parents as well so we're probably gonna build that as well. Uh, but we're gonna start with actually uh, the horses. Now I'm not quite sure if they can go into the water. I'm not sure. I mean we'll see. I really have no clue, but we'll uh, we'll see whether they can go into the water or not. Let's start with our little null barriers. <gasps> Look at them! It's so cute! Oh, I like them so much, they're so cute! Now, walk for me please, so I can select you. Yes, good. Can you escape? You can, you can swim. Well, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay, so given the fact that you can swim, um, I'm gonna adjust the barrier. Right, so that's fixed. Obviously, this has not. We can work with that. Since we um, are having a petting zoo, I do need my path to be laid out clear. Otherwise, I'm getting confused about where the actual path is. I'll just clean this up a little bit. There. Okay, we're gonna go into the constructions and we're gonna search for a pole. That's not how I write that. A pole. Like the wooden beam. Beam. Now I want to use. Yeah. These should be fine. Let me just build one. Here, so I don't have the light but you can go there you can go there and I'll rotate you and I will keep one like this it's even as it's like this and like this I feel like that's pretty cool But this needs to be extended like that. There. Press Y. And let's group this.
Hey there, they can't escape anymore. That's a good. Let's see, you have way too much space as always. <laughs> 900. Wow. Um, at least you have water, which you don't need, apparently, but that's fine. That's completely fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, this is yours. Enjoy it. I'm gonna go with construction, walls, wood. Let's see now. I want it to be sort of. So we can. Needs to be a big bar though. Just like that's good. I'm going totally um, like at the top of my head, by the way. So if it's awful, I'm sorry. There, I want a window. There, I want windows. There's barn doors right there. Windows. So we'll use these. These can count as barn doors. Alright. Let's look barn doory. I think it does. Perhaps with this on the outside as being a lock. That looks pretty dope. Now, um, it needs a roof, obviously. Pitched roof. Oh, hang on, I have wall pieces, right? Yeah, I have wall pieces. I just have a door, wow. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. This should probably be fine. Let's just go to our roofing. I can't use this one, it's too steep. We'll use this. And what to do for those little corners? Good to do. A pitched roof. Could also see this is the difficult part. Like what are you gonna do there? Because you need to do something. And if I can work out how to do it. Not with that piece. Wouldn't be in need of that. And then, let's see, where's my piece? going to our flat pieces. Yeah, see, I figured it out. It's fine in the end. I'll figure it out. 
let's just select this to zero so I can freely move it. There. Glass. Angle it. And move it in. See, I can manage this. I build a barn and you can look into it from the road. That's pretty darn cool. There, let's them... No, wait, it's not good. Um, let's add some bedding in here. Like lots and lots of bedding. They need bedding. They need to be able to sleep here. Yes. There. Lots and lots of bedding for them. That's good. That's very good. Now, I do want to make it a little bit more natural. I mean, I'm going to start rolling this. Just a little bit more hilly. And a little more daily. Like this. Perhaps I'll even add a little bit of water in here. And I'll smooth this out. And hopefully we'll get a little bit better daylight. Oops. Go away. This is a little bit much, so that's just this. A little bit more like that. Why is it so dark? Okay, it's turning night. Okay. That explains it. Vet researches them. Well, can I get you on the Prososki horse? It'd be getting dark, real dark. And it's day again, that's good. Alright, let's see. Enrichment, yes, I get that. That's a little bit better. Nice. Um, I don't think you need a heater. I do feel like you need a bowl. I should get this one. Uh, perhaps a little bit of a little sprinkler. It seems to like it. And then a little bit of a water faucet in here. This plant screen will add shade so we can place that here. In front of the barn. And I don't know why this horse has a musical keyboard, but fine. <laughs> a rubbing pillar, I do understand that. And a barrel feeder, I get that as well. So I'm giving them way too much, but I'm fine. I'm completely fine. And a feeder. I feel like the feeder should probably be somewhere here. There. A watermelon? Cool. Alright, let's see how much... Uh... Ooh, they don't have enough rock. That's a shame. Let's give them some more rock here. You can have rocky bits. It's gonna be all rocky if you like. 
Oh wait, there's too much rock. I'm not correctly yet reading this. Wow. They're completely fine with the amount of soil and grass that they don't care about that. They also don't care about snow, which is good. Let's add a little bit of soil here. This will all be soil and grass then. I feel like this would probably have been soil as well, given the fact that they walk there every day. Let's like that. So we have the soil. Maybe a little bit of long grass around here. Just like that. And these rocks, where are they? These, they will be here as well, you know, in these little puddles that we have. Look at the horse, this is cute! Okay, let me know, do you guys have to pack already? If so, what would be your favorite animal from the pack? And they don't need a whole lot of uh, stuff. So. And I can give them some plants. To be true, I haven't even checked out the other ones yet because I, I read that we had like these horses coming. I was like, yes, finally horses. So I didn't really check out any of the other animals. Not sure if that is a shame or not. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. I feel like these trees will need to fit in so These will be. Oh, they like these very much. We'll place them on the outside. That way we'll have room on the inside of that. That's a little mean trick, to be honest. But well worth it. I mean, looks looks like it's part of it, but technically it's not. Got some, some bushes over here. Perhaps one there. We'll add some here as well. Man, I like this. And we'll get an olive tree as well. I feel like that's probably is correct. I was thinking, what the heck is this? But this is my Italian shop. Which I like, but it's not for this build. Tree. Yes. Now this is a lot of coverage. Which is good. Coverage is good. Look how tiny this is. You can use this as well. Just place it around. I have some more. I'm guessing it's like 30% where it cuts off. We can use it here as well. That's pretty cool. Maybe even some more here. This is my new favorite plant. This is the common saltworth. I'm gonna favorite you. Oh. 30%, that's about what they can take. Okay, that's fine. So, horse, are you happy? Are you a happy horse? I feel like you're a happy horse, aren't you? Yes, you are. You are a happy horse. Nice. Now start mating. Or is that terribly awful as we to say? I mean, I said it, so just you know, do it, start mating. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, facilities, favorites. We don't have any power here, so we need to take that in close consideration. Let's start it raining again. 
So we do need to add uh, a power source somewhere here. I think that I might add it on top of the mountain. I feel like that could be a reasonably good idea. I'm not quite sure. We'll see, because I have zero power here on any of these. Probably not even on the first one that I placed. Nope, no power. And uh, let's place some benches here as well. People will need that in the end. And some bins. Oops. Uh, even though it's already been there. Um, ooh, that's nice. I got a reward. Yeah, I know you don't have any habitats. That's fine. Research vets completed. Sea line. Okay, we got a researcher on the Pasolsky horse as well. So that's good. Um, we do need to start making a work zone, however. Um, and the kindergarten will be there as well. Uh, horse. Now, what I need to add in here is another caretaker for this area. I do want a mechanic because I have some stuff. I need a keeper, obviously. A uh, security guard, why not? You can roam around. And a vet. Okay. Uh, unassigned staff. Mechanic. Cleaner, which I forget the name of every single time. Keeper, vet, security. You will be the Prasovsky voice. A caretaker. And you will go there immediately because they're probably hungry. Good, and it does need to be repaired before the mechanic. I finally have a mechanic that is useful. Look at them standing here. I'm screenshotting the hell out of them. So they're so cute. Look how cute you are! I like you so much. There. Could do it like this as well. This is a much better shot. It's like I'm a photographer or something. Also, your poo is on there. That's, that's typical. Uh, facilities, utilities. Let's see, a generator. Place a generator here, it will power all of these. So I will do that. Let's see how far back I can. Like that, and then the water treatment will also be done. Um, let's see, a little bit of a staff path. And we need to dye this rock as well. Let's just build, you know, we have to build something around this because this, yikes. Let's see. Pitched roofs. We'll keep it simple. Just like that. I mean, does it have a negative impact? Whew, just about. Now, and I can finally set these two pores. 
sea lion had offspring. Ooh, nice. I feel like with every pack, the animals in Planet Zoo just keep getting better and better. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to play Planet Zoo, like the game is so boring. Ooh, that's like one of one in my moods. And then I open the game, and then there are animals like these horses, and I'm just like, yes, horse. Yes. So let me just copy this over. Oops. To there. There. I'm very quiet in this episode, I've come to realize that. It's just I'm focusing so much. Oh, the jumped, it jumped! I'm really trying to concentrate on these horses. You can place one, two, three of those here. Let's move this over a tiny bit. Look at it! It's so cute! Must have it. This is just amazing. <gasps> it's galloping! I need little, little horses. I mean, they are an endangered species, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, let's see. Path, stuff. we go, that fixes it, right? Almost completely off the path. Yeah, completely off the path, good. I mean, we are just gonna ignore this big patch of cypress trees. Oh no, something broke down. This is why I have mechanics walking around free. There. So we finished the Przewalski um, horse bit. Love this barn, by the way. I feel like that really. Ooh. I feel like it's really connected with it, but it needs to be there. And I really, really, really love it. I hope you guys like it as well. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And um, if you have any suggestions for any other animals, let me know. Let me give you a heads up about what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a petting zoo here. And we're gonna create an Africa themed here. Not quite sure <gasps> what we're gonna do first. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Are you with child now? Hey, it's not with child. That's mean. Um, try better, Batar. <laughs> Anyways, uh, either the petting zoo or the African um, oh, African area. I'm not quite sure what I want to go to with first. Um, if you have an idea about what you would like to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.